Most multi-channel audio devices usually come with labels that show which output should go to which speaker. Unfortunately, this information sometimes is not present in some commonly used multi-channel audio files. This video is a tale of a near miss. Uh, when making Kingdom Come Deliverance, um, we almost delivered the music in half of the cutscenes in the wrong 5.1 channel order. Uh, watch further to see what happened, but before you do that, um, please subscribe uh, to this channel for more videos like this. Done subscribing? Great, let's, uh, let's get to it. Right, here's a 6-channel audio file exported from Pro Tools containing the 5.1 master track of Ratai Feasts, a track from Kingdom Come Deliverance. According to the format specifications, we know it has 6 channels, uh, because this particular byte in this particular subchunk says 6. And the FF Probe tool tells us it is a 5.1 layout. But do we know which channel belongs to which speaker? The answer is, from the file itself, we don't really know for sure. A single channel audio, the mono, leaves no room for error. It's simply the waveform which can drive a single speaker to produce that sound. End of story. Uh, two channel audio, at least to most people, is synonymous with stereo. Uh, that means each of two channels is for the left and the right ear, respectively, and uh, there are only two possible orders, left-right and right-left. And the convention has it that uh, left-right is the preferred channel order in digital audio, but it's reliably honored everywhere. That is, the left channel will be the first and the right channel will be the second. Almost every stereo file meant for consumer use will be like that. I must say that I'm skipping some of the special uses of two-channel audio, such as uh, the mid-side recordings or some other proprietary uses of two independent channels. Let's talk about multi-channel audio now. In theory, for n channels, there are n factorial possible orders. Uh, the six channels can be listed in 720 different orders. Only several of them are in common use, but several are still more than just one. This is the film standard, left, center, right, left surround, right surround, and low frequency effects. This is the default format of Pro Tools and several other digital audio workstations. And this is how you would typically lay out your speakers. Here you have your left speaker, your center speaker, and your right speaker. And uh, here are your surround speakers. They are typically slightly behind you. And here is the low frequency effect speaker, which can be placed pretty much anywhere because it's emitting only low frequencies. And of course, this setup will work nicely only as long as it is wired properly. Sometimes uh, you don't have a six speaker setup handy, in which case you need a stereo down mix, which flattens the six channels into stereo. This is done by summing the left two channels into the left output channel, summing the two right channels to the right output channel, and copying the center to both output channels. Another widely used standard is the one promoted by the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. Left, right, center, low frequency effects, left surround and right surround. It is also the default format of 5.1 audio in f Studio. It is relatively easy to convert one to another once you know uh, that you need to do that. But as already mentioned, many audio formats do not annotate the channels and so your software might not warn you that there is a mismatch. And that's what happened to us when processing the music in the cutscenes of Kingdom Come Deliverance. The game has two types of cutscenes. Those which are being rendered in real time by the game engine, and they use the FMOS Studio uh, with the SMPTE standard, and those which have been pre-rendered as videos, and their sound was edited in Pro Tools in the film standard. We received the mastered tracks of the KCD music as 6-channel 48kHz 24-bit PCM in the SMPTE standard, and they could be used without any conversion in FMO Studio. But we did not realize we needed to perform a conversion for Pro Tools and use them directly instead. And so, uh, these channels were interpreted as these channels. This would be easily spotted on a 5.1 setup, but for technical reasons, however, that evening we were listening on a pair of stereo desktop speakers, which means we were listening to a downmix. I'll play two downmixes of the same cutscene music. One of them is correct, uh, the other one is a result of a channel order mismatch. Let's see if you can spot the wrong one. Well, 
the second was the wrong one. This picture illustrates what happened to the signal. Only the original left channel stayed where it was supposed to be. The original right channel was taken for the original center, and so the content of the original right channel contributed to the both output. The entire mix sounds a bit heavy on the left. If you are not careful, you may even mistake this for poorly adjusted left-right balance. On a pair of desktop speakers with other people talking in the room, chances are that you won't even notice. How did we fix this? We use the FFmpeg to swap channels around in our mastered tracks. The following script converts the SMPTE to FELM. The idea is to split the original file into six intermediate mono files, one for each channel, and then to combine these files in a different order. The first command here creates the intermediate files. This command puts them back together in the new order. And here we simply delete the intermediate files. You'll find this batch on a GitHub repository, which will contain also other scripts and code snippets featured here on Game Audio Bytes. How to prevent a channel mismatch? One way is to use the channel check file, a short snippet of audio where someone speaks the name of each channel on that channel, one after another, and then use it in place of your regular contents to see what happens. Another way is to include the channel order in the file name. I know it's at least 10 more characters, but it warns anyone involved of what's coming. In case you're doing some quick edit of a six channel file, does it even matter in which order the channels are imported? They will be exported in the same order anyway, right? And the answer is it does matter because some tools have a low pass filter on the low frequency effects channel hardwired into their export routines. That means that you can, for example, lose the frequencies in your writes around. Okay, and that's it for today. Uh, if you like videos like these, please subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon. And uh, as always, huge thanks to my existing patrons and see you next time.